Welcome to WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create GDPR compliant forms. If you or your business are located in Europe, you'll need to make sure that your contact forms are compliant with the European Union's General Data Protection Regulation, otherwise known as GDPR. Requirements under GDPR include requiring explicit consent before collecting or storing user data, as well as allowing the user to request access to or deletion of that data. So if your contact forms are collecting personal information from anyone residing within the EU, you'll need to make sure your forms are fully compliant. While this video will cover general considerations for GDPR compliance, we strongly recommend you consult directly with legal counsel familiar with GDPR regulations to review your specific use of WP Forms. With that said, let's get right to it. While you should still absolutely consult legal counsel to make sure they address any unique considerations for your site, there are a few general adjustments you can make to improve your site and forms compliance with GDPR. Let's first go over some settings you can enable to get your forms up to speed. Go to WP Forms, Settings, and under the General tab, scroll down to find a section called GDPR and a setting called GDPR Enhancements. Click on the toggle to turn it on, and doing so will cause two additional settings to appear. Disable user cookies and disable user details. Let's go over each option. Disable user cookies will ensure that no cookies will be used by WP Forms. By default, WP Forms will assign every user a universally unique identifier, or UUID. This is a random number that doesn't contain any user information and is stored as a cookie in the user's browser. This cookie is used in a couple of features in WP Forms, like the geolocation add-on, the form abandonment add-on, and related entries. Related entries are displayed on individual entry pages in the bottom right corner. As you can see here, this user has submitted a handful of entries to my site, and if I click on one of these links, it'll take me to that specific entry. So if you disable user cookies, features like related entries and the form abandonment add-on will be disabled. The next setting is Disable User Details. WP Forms automatically collects certain information when a form is submitted. This information includes the user's IP address and user agent, which is the browser and operating system they're using. You can click on this toggle to disable user details for your entire site, or you can go into the General tab in the Settings page for a specific form and disable it for just that specific form. Now let's head into the Form Builder. Before you can collect or store any user data under GDPR, you need to request the user's explicit consent and explain, in plain language, why you need this information. The easiest way to go about this is to add a checkbox field to your form where users can give their consent and agree. If you clicked on the GDPR Enhancements toggle in the Settings page of WP Forms, you'll see a new field appear in the form builder called GDPR Agreement. Click on it and drag it into your form. This field has a few specific features that make it different from our regular checkbox field. The differences are as follows. This field will always be required, and unlike a regular checkbox field, there is no setting to disable the required feature. This field also does not have an option to have the box checked by default. The regular checkbox in the form builder has an option where you can have the box be checked by default when the form loads on the user's browser. But for the GDPR checkbox, this is not available, as users must be allowed to choose whether or not to check the box. Finally, there's no way to add additional checkbox options to this field. Now that our form has been completed, we have something else to consider. Under GDPR, users can request access to their data at any time. Because of this, you'll want to create an easy way for users to submit this type of request. A great way to do this would be to create a data request form to your site, or add the option to your regular contact form. If you need to locate specific entries, you can go into the Entries page of WP Forms, select the form, and then use the Search and Filter options to narrow down the results. If you need to delete an entry per a user's request, you can click on the Trash Action, then go into the Trash tab of the Entries page for that form, and click the Delete action to delete it permanently. Once the entry has been deleted, it will be completely deleted from your site's database. One last tip before we go. You can alternatively choose not to store entries in WordPress for a specific form. To do this, 
Go into the form builder, go to the settings tab, and under the advanced section, click on the toggle called Disable Storing Entry Information in WordPress. Once this is enabled, entries for this particular form will no longer be stored on your site. If you choose this option, however, be sure to set up your notification emails and make sure they're working correctly so that entry details can still be collected if needed. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to create a GDPR compliant form in WP Forms. Again, we strongly recommend you consult directly with legal counsel familiar with GDPR regulations to review your specific use of WP Forms. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. You can also join our WP Forms VIP Circle group on Facebook to learn even more tips and tricks, as well as be part of the growing WP Forms community. If you need any extra technical help, please visit our contact page and reach out to our support team.